Here's your daily dose of history. These events happened on July 5th. In 1921, the trial of Chicago White Sox players, accused of intentionally losing the 1919 World Series in exchange for a payoff from gamblers in what is known as the Black Sox scandal, begins in a Chicago courtroom. The players are found not guilty, but strong evidence against them leads Commissioner Kennesaw Mountain Landis to permanently ban them from Major League Baseball. The move is controversial, because it's not clear that all eight banned players were involved. In 1971, during the Vietnam War, the 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is officially certified after being ratified by three quarters of the states a few days earlier. It lowers the legal voting age from 21 to 18. Support for this amendment is nearly universal, as it seems hypocritical for the government to draft a young man at 18 while that young man has no say in choosing the leaders who are sending him off to war. This amendment worked out well for me as I turned 18 just a few days before the 1992 presidential election. Otherwise, I would have had to wait until 1996 to vote for the first time. In 1994, Princeton graduate and entrepreneur Jeff Bezos founds online bookstore Cadabra in Bellevue, Washington. He eventually changes the company's name to Amazon, and the site grows to become one of the world's largest retailers, racking up over $500 billion in sales in 2023. 27 years later, to the day, in 2021, Bezos steps down as CEO, transitioning to the role of executive chair, with Andy Jassy becoming the new Amazon CEO. In 1996, Dolly the Sheep, the first mammal successfully cloned from an adult cell, is born at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland. When her birth is announced to the world in February 1997, intense debate erupts worldwide about cloning's potential positives and negatives, as well as its moral implications. In 2003, the World Health Organization declares that Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, a coronavirus disease that first appeared in China in 2002 has been contained worldwide. In the previous eight months, the disease had killed about 775 people in 29 countries. Don't forget to check out Today in History in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. There's a link in the description. Which of these events did you find most interesting? I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments. And I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to the Learn with Mr. Lewis channel. And there's another great Mr. Lewis video here and another one right here. Thanks for watching.